Why are we looking at Shrek? And what's going on? Well, let's talk about that. Thank you, Good Mythical Morning. I'm going to steal your idea there. Okay, um, paint.net, simple, cool thing that's possible is this concept called layers. I want to explain what the layers palette does and why it's important as a graphic designer or an artist that you understand this. I am not calling myself an artist, uh, just FYI, but I do know a few things about graphic design. So to make something like this, uh, an image with Shrek uh, that has text on it, but so that if I make a mistake, I can easily fix it. Um, I'm going to just show you by taking this picture, I'm going to right click and copy this image. And that's a way to copy an image. So I use the right mouse button, I right click and I copy. Um, and I'm going to open up paint.net and there's my paint.net and I'm going to hit control V, V for victory, control V and I'm going to paste it. You can also go edit paste, but uh, you're going to want to expand canvas. Okay and it's gonna make the canvas the same size as the image. The image size is right down here. It's 800 by 713. All right, so we're gonna make sure that our layer window is open. If you don't have it open, up here in the upper right-hand corner of the uh, thing, you have your toolbar, your color bar, your history, and your layers. So you're gonna turn your layers on and you're gonna grab the corner so that it has two arrows. See where we get this two arrows when you put your mouse right on the corner or the edge and you're gonna drag your layer window open bigger, okay? So we have a little more space to work with. And you're gonna see that on the first layer we have Shrek and I can turn that layer off and we see through to the checkerboard desktop. I call that the, that's the desktop of paint.net. We can see through to the bottom. Okay, so that's one layer. Now, if I draw on this layer, I get some paint and I draw and I draw a little, maybe a little mustache for Shrek there. Okay, that is on that layer. And basically I'm painting right onto it, but I'm gonna undo control Z, Z as in zebra. I'm gonna undo that. I'm gonna create a new layer right here is the new layer button. And if you uh, hover your mouse, I think it eventually will tell you that's what that is. But I'm gonna just click it and you'll see layer two. And if I wanna rename that layer and give it a special name, I'm gonna call it, uh, I'll call it mustache, okay? And I'm gonna draw Shrek's beautiful mustache. There we go, okay. Not my finest work, but now here's some cool things you can do. Because that's on its own layer, one, I can turn it off. I'm like, eh, I don't like it, I'm gonna turn it off. I can turn it back on. I can use the blue arrow and I can move anything on the layer that's selected. I have to make sure I select my layer, mustache layer, see how it turned blue there. And now I can move it. I can make it horns. I can make it uh, something he's holding his hand. Remember this, that if you put your mouse in the corner and you have the two, it's sort of like a tilted arrow, you can tilt it. So I might tilt it and stick it in his hand and I'm gonna hit enter to commit that. Okay, um, I can also click on the background. I can move the whole background. It does, it's kind of weird if you move the background and it, it, it has an image there, but I'm gonna hit Control Z. Um, what I would like you to try is adding text. So this is how people make memes, basically. Uh, make a new, another layer, and I'm gonna call this text. And I notice I turned my mustache layer off. I don't really, you know, it's up to you if you wanna use that. I'm gonna make sure I'm clicking on my text layer, and I'm gonna click the T button, and I'm gonna write some words on Shrek here, like uh, Shrek is cool and I'm gonna make it bigger so we can read it. And if I want it to be an actual meme, I'm gonna use the impact font. I'm gonna type the letter, I'm gonna click on the font and type the letter I. It should jump down to uh, impact there. There we go. And uh, to move this text, you're gonna see there's a little floating square. And it also, if you have four arrows, you can do it, but right now we don't. It's a little too big. So I'm gonna type right, I'm gonna click right there where the number for the font is because I have the font tool selected. I'm gonna change that number to let's say 80. And that makes it fit a little better. Shrek is cool. There you go. That in this essentially is how layers work. Now you can also drag these, I'll just show you this too. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna add something. I'm gonna click on the mustache layer because whatever layer you're on is where you're gonna do it. It's kind of like if you laid, uh, I have transparencies here. Let's see if I can find them. Uh, it's kind of like if you take a transparency, okay, a piece of transparency paper, and you draw on it, and and then you have something underneath it. You have another uh, image, you know, underneath that layer. 
So you, you put it there and you, you can put it on top and you can layer as many transparencies as you want with as many drawings as you want. If I, if I color this entire transparency black, let's, for example, let's, let's go to the uh, mustache layer and let's say I use the paint bucket tool and I fill it with blue or, or I'll just fill it with black, okay? I fill it with black, well, I can't see anything. But if I move the mustache layer, see it's on the top, it's on the top layer of the layers. If I drag it underneath Shrek, now it's gone. If I drag it here, the text is on top and the, the, that layer is on bottom. And I can turn that layer off, I can turn it back on. Check this out, I can double click on the layer and you have the option to name it and you can change the opacity, which is how much you can see. And I can make it sort of see-through. Ooh, okay, so I think I've given you enough tools to uh, keep you busy with layers. Um, that's the basics of layers in Paint.net 2018. This will be outdated in a couple months. All right, see you later. Bye.